Like the Jordan Poole incident in training camp last year was like bad, right? It was really bad. It had very little positive effects on the overall team. For Draymond specifically, I actually think that if that whole thing didn't happen, Draymond might have been worse last season. Draymond was arguably, I think, the Golden State's second most important player last season behind Steph. He played. Re- he had a really good season. A really good season. And you know why? And what a big part of it was. One, it was kind of a contract year. I know he had, obviously, the option for next season. But all along, we know that he wanted to opt out and get longer-term security, which he ultimately did. Um, and as I said, he did that because... He put the work in. He knew that he had to earn back the respect of his teammates, the coaches, everyone. Earn back the respect of the NBA world on the floor after what everyone had just seen him do to one of his younger teammates in training camp. Like, that had that, that was a motivation. That incident. Now, it was terrible. It was shocking. He should definitely not do it ever again in any circumstances. However... It was actually a source of motivation, I believe, in him playing better last season. So we've got to understand that a lot of what Dre says, a lot of what Dre does comes from that perspective in terms of this guy is actually going to be better on the floor as a result of what he said off the floor or, or whatever else it may be. Like the, the Nicholson stuff is no issue. The pool stuff is just a little bit silly to me. It, again, it's not, I don't think, necessarily harming the, the team dynamic now as it sits because Poole's obviously off the team. Uh, I do think it's painting Draymond in a bad light. And if he's looking out just after his own reputation, then those comments tarnished his own reputation. And we know he's got a pretty controversial reputation as it is. Like it's, And I'm sure everyone who's been in any kind of long-term relationship before... If you are in a relationship and you go your separate ways or whatever, if one person just like moves on with their life, like doesn't say any, really anything about it, it's just, you know, quiet, goes off, does their own business, that's that, end of story. And then you have the other person like going to their mates, going to whoever will listen and just talking shit about the other person. Like, oh, the whole relationship, the whole, the whole breakup, it's their fault, they did this, they did that, whatever else. I can guarantee you, and I'm sure everyone can guarantee, that the person who's talking shit and the person who continues to want to talk about it is the person that looks bad compared to the person who is just done with it and wants to move on. And clearly, in this situation, Jordan Poole is that person. He got, he's got he been asked multiple times like about the dream one, and he's like, we're in Washington now, I'm with Coos. Like, let's move on. And that's painting him in a much better light than Draymond, who just wants to rehash the whole incident again and wants to say, oh, well, no, it wasn't an instant reaction. You know, I wouldn't just hit a teammate off the cuff like that without, you know, any prior um, incidents happen- happening. And when I, I, mean, I say incidents, clearly like trash talking back and forth, whatever else. So that's that's the only thing for me is like Draymond's kind of hurting his his reputation here and I just think it's it's silly and he just needs to move on